Hello, my name is Takia Easley and I'm a Technical Program Manager at Rolls-Royce. Uh, Letitia Eganoff. I work at Rolls-Royce as a Global Program Manager. I'm a native of Birmingham, Alabama, and my father was a field engineer for Xerox and studied electrical engineering. So early on in high school, I basically enjoyed doing a lot of math and physics, and the chemistry teacher I had planted a seed to say, hey, Rose Hallman is an engineering school accepting women. Uh, you should think about becoming an engineer. I was good in math and science, and following in dad's footsteps, decided to become an engineer. Also, my dad challenged me because he didn't think my math skills were good enough to be an engineer, so in order to prove him wrong, here I am today. So as a global program manager, I work on a top technology program for the company that is all the methods and softwares and tools that engineering uses to design, to service, and to certify our engines. Not many people can say that they're putting people in the air, and, and that's been a big attraction to Rolls-Royce. It's very diverse in what we do. And what engineering gives you is the skill set to be able to critically think through any problem that you're faced with. Going into STEM is really an amazing foundation that I don't think I would have gotten outside of a STEM um, background. And it's basically given me a lot of opportunities. I've done everything from environmental engineering to pharmaceutical to aerospace and even taken a stint in financial advising and come back to engineering without the ability to problem solve and to think and to learn, which is what STEM has done for me, I would not have had as much flexibility in my career. I'm excited about women in high tech because it gives girls the opportunity to see women all across the STEM field and break the stigma that it's not just a male-dominated field. You'll see women from all different walks of life, all different industries here representing the STEM field that they support. I think a big thing that the larger companies can do is continue to let uh, women especially uh, know what is out there and what exists um, and making us aware of those things and encouraging us to participate uh, is the best thing that they can do. There, there are no limits we have. Uh, Xerox has a woman CEO. Rose Royce now has a woman CEO. So women are, women are powerful, women are leading, women are taking over the workforce. So anything that you want to do, go and do it because you can and will succeed. And there are lots of other women out there that will help you and make sure that you succeed in what you're doing.